a brief excerpt from the subtype program of people born on March 10th of common years or March 9th of leap years. Information is presented using women as an example and is selectively taken from the catalog of human population. If we try to compare this individual to a natural phenomenon, a woman born on March 10th of common years resembles a strange black hole which tries to take in everything that is within her reach. This black hole attracts, pulls in, and eventually absorbs. The fact is that uh, this woman also tries to maximally take in a maximum number of objects of the external world such as various information, rumors, people, events, impressions, advices, admonitions, and so on. To draw an analogy with household appliances, in this respect, she can be compared to a vacuum cleaner, which sucks in whatever it comes across. Like a vacuum cleaner, this person absorbs everything that is in the environment. And, in this sense, she can also be compared to a paper towel that absorbs liquids instantly. Once she begins to do something, this woman cannot stop. For example, if she picks up a book and starts to read it, then she will read, read and read without stopping, both day and night. If she starts to get some uh, experiences, some information from communication with friends, then she will stay with them until late night. If she turns on the television, then she cannot tear herself away from it. Due to these personal peculiarities, this woman always tries to be in uh, places where it is possible to get large amounts of varied information. For example, the press, the internet, people, books, videos, television and radio broadcasts, and so on. She pays a lot of attention to the most varied literary works, ranging from scientific to popular science literature. That is, if her education allows. Of course, unlike the black hole as a natural phenomenon, a woman born on March 10th of common years has her own capabilities to take in large amounts of information and experiences. But in comparison with many other people, she can take in huge amounts. On the other hand, in this case, everything she comes across is subject to absorption. But on the other hand, there are priorities. One of them is all that is secret, dark, mystical, and the otherworldly. In other words, all that is concealed or simply unclear. She is also interested in so-called skeletons in closets, that is, the secret, other side of people, phenomena and events. Various esoteric and the mystical systems, secret teachings and similar things. In this sense, she is omnivorous. Therefore, along with really serious research on occultism and esotericism, such as studies of Manly Hall, for example, she will read about uh, some green beings, uh, karmic astrology, black magic of village sorcerers, and other frank delirium of mystically mind citizens. By the way, this woman might consider herself a witch, a sorceress by nature, who can jinx anyone. She might think that uh, there is something infernal in her, or to put it simply, something out of this world. She might consider herself an individual who possesses demonic force, which can influence men or a shaman who has an ability to communicate with spirits from parallel worlds. 
the next uh, directions of her interest are various philosophical, religious, psychological, scientific, as well as cultural systems, which she absorbs in incredible amounts. For example, today she is extensively and seriously into Islam. Tomorrow, Nietzsche, and the day after, she is carried away by the Renaissance culture, and so on. She seriously studies everything, revelations of the holy Christian elders, stories from lives of Buddhist monks, along with works of Hitler, Hegel, or uh, Encyclopedia of Philosophy of England and France, and so on. While she studies various cultural directions, for example, Renaissance paintings, then she will not only study works of painters, but also the history, the context in which they were created. She will not only study the techniques that the great artists used, but also certainly will try to find out their philosophy. Since all of her hunting for information and its absorption in unimaginable amounts are necessary to the considered individual in order to find as many, as many variants of uh, various recipes of life as possible. This woman is a peculiar collector of life positions. A woman born on March 10th of common years actively seeks uh, peculiar recipes of existence based on different worldviews, uh, various value systems, both in society and in cultural layers, in literature, music, paintings, science, philosophy, and so on. If you enjoyed the brief overview and would like to get a complete description of this or any other person, you can do so at www.humanpopulationacademy.org